it's, it's going to be like finding a needle, not even in a haystack, in a freaking <laughs> ocean. It's pretty much close to impossible. Lead generation campaigns, because these people, they're the same people that are not at the same level that somebody that's already searching for educational videos or somebody that's already searching for a problem solving, like the clog to toilet. But if we generate leads and we, we, have a, we, have a, we do a good job of communicating to those people and uh, sending out two to three emails every single week and keeping that connection with these people, sending text messages and information and case studies and just straight wiring that line with these guys, then when the time comes that they need your help, then they're going to come to you. So you got to do all, all, all things. Like if, if you're just focusing on, here's the reality. And this is something for all of you guys to understand, no, no matter if you're watching a recording or you guys that are here with us, if you're not focusing on building a list of people, right? So we have a, you got to have a combination of, right? We got sales going on. They're gonna are gonna keep the uh, the 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 business paying the bills and the uh, all the uh, expenses and adding new inventory and all those things, right? If you're not doing a combination of sales and um, list building, these things need to be combined. It has to be a part of the overall strategy, and you gotta get you gotta be doing both at the same time. You can't have one without the other one because this is going to feed your present time while this one creates your future. And, and the way that I see uh, Facebook and Instagram right now, they're not going away, guys. This is not my space. It's not my space. Mm -hmm. they're, they're here to stay. They already won the attention game. They're too big to fail. Right. That, that's the reality. They have Facebook. They have Instagram. They have WhatsApp. They have Messenger. They have 3 billion half of the world's population is using these platforms every single day. And, and, and that's even uh, accounting for the people that don't even have access to the internet. So every single one to two people on the entire planet is using one other platform. So they're not going anywhere. Uh, I believe that we have an online world of 4 billion people. 75% of them are active on Facebook and Instagram. So yes, their numbers went, went down the last quarter, at some point, it was going to happen, right? Like, it, it's incredible. But we, we need to keep on playing the game of Facebook and Instagram aggressively. But instead of trying to find an audience of Jorge's that are boaters, fishermen, people that are very unique, right? Like the, the tower guy that's, that's looking for an insurance. I mean, how many people? I've never met in my life somebody that gets on a tower to fix electricity. I have personally never met one in my life. So how many people are there? Can Just you one reach? for me. Just one for you? Well, <laughs> the, 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 um, the, this guy's uh, focus, Yeah, he has insurance. Now, his market is very specific. His insurance is very specific. I just had a talk with him last week. Uh, his market is employees. He's selling insurance to employees that get on towers to do uh, uh, electricity work. Like the lineman. What? How the freaking yeah, that, you find these guys, crazy. right? Right. So he's like, uh, can you guys help me build like a lead generation system? Like a lot of people, I need a, a major funnel. I'm like, no, I can't. Not on Facebook. Right. On YouTube and Google, yes. Yeah. Particularly on Google, right? So I would actually, if that was him, I would actually do like all of this is Google, all of this. And then I would do a little bit over here, branding and TikTok and other things like because. You can't compare Google leads with Facebook leads. A Facebook lead, it's like they're just curious. They're clicking on things. They, they're, you're not really solving a problem for them right then and there. Uh, the Google is like the plumber that their toilet just got clogged, right? They need you to come right now. If you don't close that person, you're in a complete and utter imbecile, right? Because that person has a clogged toilet. Who knows? They might have like things overflowing. They have a massive problem. So the, the Google lead is, so, is such a different lead. So, so in his case, my suggestion is go all in on Google, all right? Stay away from anything else. Yeah. 
and do branding on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Branding. That's all. Tell your stories. Don't spend too much money on it. You know, uh, um, document uh, how you're helping somebody uh, get more stability in their lives because they have insurance. Just that. Take advantage of that opportunity right there, but don't depend on these platforms to help you grow your business right now because it's going to be like finding a needle, not even in a haystack, in a freaking <laughs> ocean. It's pretty much close to impossible and you're going to bleed out and yeah. that's going to be very painful. I mean, even myself, we have trouble here sometimes getting the qualified marketing leads. Yep, yep. People that are interested in uh, in learning marketing strategies, right? So it's it's the more niche it gets, the, the, the more challenging it is. So you got to go to the platforms that can help you find those exact people as best as possible. And then you put your energy there. But on Facebook and Instagram, these platforms that are so massive, you can work on list building because it's not about the quality of your list. It really is about the size of your list. That's what matters. So you got to grow your list. So it, it really it really is something that's powerful long term, but you need the survival right now because it's what we need to keep going. Uh, cash is going to be oxygen. So just focus on those platforms that can help you get there right now while you build those um, outside. So I would do, Laura, I would put together some great uh, things like a contest for, you know, like uh, somebody that wins a cooler that is um, yeah, whatever gen they want to generate some buzz and get absolutely some people love to get engaged with those things, right? Like they yeah. love to participate. Um, that thing can spread like wildfire. So creating some contests uh, that are, are going to bring people on board and with a chance to win something and then maybe giving them giving everybody a coupon so everybody wins even though they don't use it. Those could be cool things that we can set up on Instagram and Facebook that start getting you, giving you a lot of people, phone numbers and emails. And you have to make sure that you're nurturing these people along the way, communicating value to them consistently.